gift cards burn gift cards burn more gift cards burn more <laughs> gift cards burn more of a whole gift cards burn more oh my gift cards burn more of a hole in a pocket <laughs> Gift cards burn more of a hole in my pocket than cash does. Hey guys, welcome back. Today is going to be a Nordstrom and what I got for Christmas haul. I got some gift cards that burn a hole in my pocket more than cash does. So first thing I got was from my friend Trisha. She, um, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to try these. I don't know where she got them, but they're, it's obviously an, uh, like Korean or Asian brand. It's called Cut cotton and she basically said they are a cheaper dupe for the Shiseido cotton pads from Shiseido. So I'm excited to try them. But she threw this in the Jessie's Girl liner. I am obsessed. It's my favorite liner. I use it every single day. I've probably gone through 10 and um, you can't get it. You can get it at Rite Aid but in obviously in stores in Ohio you can't uh, get this liner. You have to order it online but like if you they have Jessie's Girl, they just don't carry this liner, but in LA, they obviously do. Freaking worth every penny. It's the best liner I've tried. NARS Stephen Klein eyeshadow instead. This is the one that I wanted so bad. It's like this gorgeous pewter gold shade. Oh my gosh, it's really frosty, kind of glittery. Not like ch thick, chunky glitter, but very shimmery. And it's the color is absolutely beautiful. I hope you can still get it, but um, I just think it's, so stuff. And then I got some really good things from my friend Teresa. She sent me a, um, let's see, the Toka Cream Velo the Toka Hand Cream. It's a set of three with pretty much all of my favorite scents, especially Cleopatra. I love hand creams and I'm excited to try this. The Magic Micro Spa Power Dermabrasion from Bliss. I have never even really heard of this, but I love anything that has to do with microdermabrasion that you don't have to pay for like at the salon because it's so expensive. I've smelled it. It smells like mint. Freshness, it's got a volcanic pumice and then soothing aloe, which I think is kind of nice. So it's like effective, but it's gentle. So good call there. And then I was so excited about this. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. I think this is perfect for travel. You have your bronzer, your blush, and then your two highlighters and then your setting powder. I'm sorry, your two highlighters and then your setting powder. I set my foundation all the time with dim light. So uh, if you have not tried it, it's a really great kind of um, glowy setting powder to use. And then these two shades, this is actually my favorite shade, which is the, oh my gosh, I'm totally losing it. Mood lighting bronzer, which I didn't care for at first, but I'm going to try it again and see if I like it. So I really am excited about this. I think this is something that you should invest in. I mean, I don't mind the size. I never hit pan on products anyway, so um, freaking I love that. I've been wanting for like two years. It's been on my um, Nordstrom wish list for a long time is this blank NYC jacket. And this is the blazer, the vegan leather blazer. It's about $100 and it is so incredibly cute. It's got a lot of detailing and it's not a shiny leather. It's more of like a matte, um, worn in type leather, which I like. I like things that look more like relaxed and worn in. It does have shoulder pads, which scares me a little bit because I haven't worn shoulder pads in forever. Ow, my caffeine headache's coming back. I love the detailing on the back. It's got some um, zipper detailing and then just some things that I really like. I went up a size. So if you, I think this runs kind of small, so I'm a medium in this and I absolutely love it. Next couple of things, I got just a couple things for my husband. He, what my like real present was, I wanted like a gift card to the many spa that I go to. And so he did that. And then he got me a couple of other really like, I don't know, fun stocking stuffers. This is from Walmart. And it's probably my favorite comfy sweatshirt to wear like ever. And it's the brand Faded Glory, which I think is like a Walmart brand. This fleece sweatshirt, isn't it so cute? And it has fleece on the inside and the outside. So it's really, really warm. And I'm assuming like extremely cheap because it's from Walmart. And this is a large, I like to like lounge around the house and I like to wear his clothes anyway. So I, um, it, he got me a small, of course, cause he was like afraid to get me a large. 
exchange it for a large and I freaking love it. And it does run kind of small. I think it might be for kids or whatever. But if you guys have a Walmart near you, grab the sweatshirt. It is so, so nice. I like want to go back and get more colors if they have any. Like if they had black or any type of colors, I just, I wanted to get more because I love that one so much. And then I've been like whining about these so badly. And so this was a total surprise. A pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses that literally I've been like wanting for a year. And this is, these are them. I Instagram a picture of it, but I don't know if you can tell on camera, but they're like hot pink. I freaking love them. There's that, like he always does, I always feel bad, he always does better than I do. No gifts, but then still kind of get each other something. And I got him like a pair of, like a sweater and a pair of lounge pants and that's it. Okay, so then I did get some makeup uh, with my gift cards. Like I got some makeup. The first thing I wanted to show you was this um, tank and I got, I love these tanks from Topshop. They are around $28 and I think they are so flattering, especially if, you kind of have a smaller chest. I feel like anything that you get that cuts really high, kind I don't know, kind of emphasizes your chest or whatever, if that makes sense. But these, I don't know what they're called. It's just called, I'll link it below. It's, I got a size six US, UK, it's a 10. And it's these tank tops. They're just like razorback tanks, but they're super long. Like, I love it. I just think this would look really cute with a pair of white jeans and that leather jacket but I just like how it cuts kind of high and I forget what it's called. One thing from the, the new Chanel summer collection and it is the Sunrise Trip nail polish. It was the only thing that I really wanted because I don't have anything like it. It's kind of like this violet uh, blue shade. It's like a very bright violet blue shade and I don't have anything like that. And I just thought that it was the absolute most gorgeous color. This is going to look so pretty on toes. I'm going to try the um, full fat lashes from Charlotte Tilbury because I'm almost out of the Chanel and I just want to try it. I want to see what, what all the hype is about. So let me show you the brush. It's kind of like a fuller sized brush. Went online and spent that gift card like that night. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, these two, her new um, Matte Revolution lipsticks. I've heard so many great things and it's luminous modern matte long lasting lipstick i mean everybody's coming out with this kind of thing the first shade i got why how does it say oh it's always on the side bond girl this is more of a rosy oh i love this shade this is more of like a rosy brown Oof, I love and very victoria i love this one as well this is more of like a neuter like a nude brown rose i got those two Love, love. And then the last thing I got was some things from Laura Mercier. And my friend Freelance is there. She said this was her favorite foundation. I am such a foundation person. And it's the Silk Cream Moisturizing Photo Edition Foundation. I took back the YSL that I hauled in the Sephora because it just wasn't working. And so then I got this. This is reformulated. So they have two different formulations. They have one that's oil free if you're oily and then one that is moisturizing. So I got the one for moisturizing and I love it. I'm wearing it today. And when she put it on my face with her fingertips, it smoothed over all of my imperfections like airbrush, like it was being airbrushed. Really like the coverage. It's full coverage. It doesn't, um, sink into like your flaws or anything and it's nice and I'm in the shade medium ivory which I hope she matched me right I hate not matching myself then I saw this color and I almost like peed my pants the paint wash liquid lip color and I got the shade nude rose I mean this shade look at that shade it is just stunning she said this one looks good on everybody and I can totally see why because it's just that universal, really pretty, gorgeous, medium taupe, like tone rose. Like, do you guys see that? I love this. If you guys do not own this color, this is one of those that is just gonna be flattering on, it's gonna be flattering on every single person. It really is. So let me know what you guys think. Please like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. I love when you guys like videos. I just think it makes me feel so good. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.